What is going on today, guys? We are back for another episode of Fear the Night. Now, on the way home, I was actually hunting for some gas here quick, and I never mentioned this before in the playthrough, but when you're searching police cars like this, you have a chance to find weapons and stuff like that in here. And on my way home, I just happened to find something, and I needed to start the episode early so I could show you guys this. Now, yeah, AR-15 and a ballistic vest. So, yeah, what an interesting find. This is 200 armor score, and it goes in the outer slot. Now, mind you, our plate top is 300, but at 200 armor, that's still really damn good. Um, that's the first time I've, I've actually ever found that in-game. But I figured I'd show you guys this because we've been talking about making that, and... Yeah, I just randomly found one in this on the way home. So, I wanted to start the episode off showing you guys that. But, I'm going to head home and get some stuff done for the night. And, in the morning, I'll be right back to you guys. Alright guys, so we made it through the night. And, we got our AR on us, ready to go. All loaded up. So, now which one's going to be better? The AI, or the M4 versus the AK? Well... It's called AR on here, but it's full auto, so I call it the M4. But which one's going to be better? I'm going to say they're probably going to be pretty much the same damn thing. Um, you know, as far as looks go, though, we'll actually just do a quick comparison here. And so... Here's the AK. You know, it's a pretty standard looking synthetic stock AK. Uh, nothing too special looking about it here. You know, no mods or anything on it. But like the M4 here, you can see it's actually got a foregrip on it. And it's got a rail on top of it to allow sight mods or a laser mod on top of it. And it doesn't have, doesn't really have much else by the looks of it. Other than that, so as you can see, there's this little foregrip here. Um, not foregrip's really not that special, to be honest. I mean, it's obviously it give you a little bit better recoil control and, and handling wise, but other than that, you know, I don't think the game's gonna take into account the fact that the the M4 is modded versus the AK is just a synthetic stock black standard but you know let's test it out here i think we actually hit him in the hand that first shot but as you can see it does jump around pretty much the same as the ak i mean both of them have a decent amount of kick you know the game doesn't like i said the game doesn't have like any sort of gun modding to it uh, otherwise, I'm sure if you could, like, have mods and other attachments for it, you could probably get the recoil down. So it would pretty much be a laser, but, you know, honestly, even in full auto, it's not, it's not horrible. I mean, yeah, it, like I said, it does jump, but it's pretty, pretty damn accurate. So, anyway, we're going to be... Uh, heading off to the layer here, so I got everything on us that we need to seal up the layer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in first, clear it out, and then come back up and retrieve all the stuff we need to repair the repair that up. But I got everything. I oops, made sure I put it in one of my scouts, so it's 300 wood. 300 recycled metal, 300 recycled plastic, and 250 nails to seal up this layer. So, it is expensive, but honestly, I think it's going to be well worth it. You know, having this layer sealed up, not only is it technically, I do say technically, technically the only thing in this map that we need to seal up to clear it, or in this area to clear it, but, you know, it's also... Um, wrong button. 
but it's also going to make it easy for us to go get metal. Where the hell is he at? There he is. Okay, so again, you see with the guns, you really have to aim really close in in order to hit him. That's, that's really off. That's kind of, I don't know. It's not a huge deal. I mean, you just got to compensate for it, I guess, or just be quick enough to swap over to your sword or a shotgun. Shotgun works well in close range. Uh, pretty much all the other guns, not so much. I mean, unless you like, you really got to aim over to hit them. But it's not a big deal. But yeah, this layer is going to be expensive. And like I said, it's technically the only thing the game considers to be in this area. Which, as you see on the map, it says only 0 of 1 for layer. Technically, the junkyard is in area 4 here but it's considered part of area six so i don't know you guys be the be the judge about that one i i don't know i consider the junkyard to be in area four but it's technically an area six point of interest you know it it is what it is it's right on the border so it could go either way so i don't really I don't really care too much about about it to be honest it's marked area six so i guess when we clear it it's part of area six is clear which i guess you know that works for me i mean can't do much about that but anyway we got our we got our breaching sledge with us to clear some metal once we're in here as well but let's get our helmet on and let's get to clearing out. We've got plenty of ammo, so. You just stay dead. Kind of hard to see him. I'm just kind of shooting at. Whoops, shit. Reloading. There we go. Okay, I know I saw somebody else down there. Let's just do one of them. Can't see, so let's just blow up everything. There we go. That works. I saw his shadow when the grenade went off, so I knew he was there. All right. Give some sword action going on. Of course you're going to split. Why wouldn't you? All zombies must die again. You're going to split too. God damn it. I hate when they split. That's why I love using the gun. Because if you hit them in the head with the gun, they don't split. It pops their freaking melon right off. And I love it. I know, I'm kind of a sadistic bastard. I love to watch heads heads pop off and roll when I'm shooting something, but uh, of course. Why won't you be down here? Give me my M4, please. There's another one right there. Alright, you know what? Let's back up out of here. What am I stuck on? Back up a little bit because that spider zombie's coming. He was. Have one of them. Do I really need grenades? No, not really, but it's fun. And you can't see very far in here, so. I was hoping it would catch that spider zombie. Which it must have damaged him a little bit because he was already glowing orange, so. You're still alive? Shit. Okay. Get off the dead spider zombie.
Whoa. A little bit of desync there or something. There. That should do a bit more. There was quite a few zombies there, so... That's more like it. 19,000. I like that. Alright, well, I don't see any more spider zombies at the moment. Yeah, I lied. There we go. Whoop. That guy was collateral damage. He got in the way. Oh, hello. Anybody hiding down by my military crate? No? Good. Let's see what we can find. I'm still looking for them them other boots. Ooh, we got a katana. That's nice. Ooh, another miner's helmet and Alright, no boots, but eh. Another mining helmet never hurts. Alright, I'm not wasting any ammo on you. Whoa, where'd you come from? Alright, let's continue on the way here. There should be plenty more. Oh yeah, there we got a brute. So, we'll give him a little present. Not gonna kill him, but... Just enough to piss him off. Yeah, I saw that guy's shadow, but... There we go. Alright, let me have your rifle ammo and them shotguns and stuff. Oh, yes. Keep heading on down in here. And, oh, oh yeah. Now, this is a grenade-worthy pile, I think. Come on, blow up. Oh, yeah. It didn't kill them? What? I know there's more regular zombies down there. You know what? Being those dead spider zombies' bodies are there, let's just give them a grenade. There we go. Don't want to get hung up on those stupid bodies trying to push down in. So, there. And some shotgun, broken shotguns. Alrighty. Shotgun. Oh, I took the gears. Oh, well. It. I'll just take them gears too. Alright. Let me over there. Keep heading on down here. We're pretty much at the bottom. Anybody down here? So hard to see. Oh, there you are. Jeez, almost a full mag for him. All right. Yeah, that's the only problem. This game is super, super dark. All right. You just gonna give me all hemostats? I'm gonna, I'm gonna slap ya. Hemostats are junk. Shrapnel. Ugh. Okay. That's garbage. And honestly, I don't really want the springs or the gears. So let's run this stuff up. Grab our resources we need and. Come back down and let's get this puppy sealed up. You know, I had mentioned before about it'd be nice if uh, to own this game to be able to further develop it. Oh man, I could I could do a lot of things with this game. To be just little tweaks to make it just more enjoyable to play and stuff. You know, like, one of the biggest ones would be, like, the mining helmet for lighting. That would be... 
that would be a huge asset. Is it just me or did it seem like those guys were just hauling ass? According to the map. I had that the night I was uh, hacking the enforcers. I had a couple zombies that come cruising at like high on crack kind of speed and it was just is insane so we got to drop some stuff off here um gonna give that back to him you know we'll keep the katana maybe we'll try it out maybe that'll be our like lower level area weapon i'll say um might as well put that on him as well and that extra thing of armor and yeah you'll work here we go So, can we get it all in one trip? No. Too much. So, Alright, let's cut it down pretty good there. We'll just make two trips in and out. Because, yeah, I don't feel like... Whoops. That helps. Not much. Helps to put the helmet on just a little bit. Not a ton, but... Yeah, there's a few things I'd change if I... If I owned the game and was developing it, mining helmet increased the brightness, the range of range of the the flashlight on it itself. I'd like to change the flare gun so it was more viable to use, and so you could actually craft ammo for it. That'd be a couple of the of the big things I'd change on here. Um, I would add new zombie types. You know, I feel like four zombie types and one hostile UA is just, it's not enough. It's really not for a game of this size. It just isn't, in my opinion. But, alright, that's dropped off. Um, another thing I'd change is I'd probably add more, more diversity to the shelters. You know, different shelter sizes, different looks. So many things you could do. Expand the map. Add some sort of like gun modding system. You know, so you could like find mods for guns. And it won't even have to be anything huge. You know, like a little sight mod. So when you aimed, you'd go into like a first person aim mode. And you'd be able to aim like down a red dot or a hol holographic sight. Or like a an ACOG or a, you know for like the pipe rifle you'd actually be able to aim down like a 6x scope or a 12x you know little stuff like that that could just make the game more have more playability to it as far as guns goes there's a, there there's a pretty decent selection of guns I mean I'd probably I'd probably eventually add some other stuff, like as far as uh, single shot, or well, I call them single shots, but like the hunting rifle, the pipe rifle, you know, I'd probably add a little bit more diversity as far as like sniper rifles, I'll call them go. Uh, I'd probably put something in like, I don't know. It won't even have to be anything like major either. Just like a simple, simple five shot bolt, like 30 out six. You know, it won't even have to be anything major. But, all right, so this is all full as you can see. 300, 300, 300, and 250. So let's get this started. I have no idea to what to expect with this. So, yeah, let's just, let's just hope. It goes all right. I hear him. I do not see him. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is another thing I'd change. Sealing up layers. Way too goddamn easy. I mean, come on. 
This is area frickin' four we're talking about here. Okay, that's... That's more like it. A poison zombie. But still, that's two zombies. We're almost halfway through this damn thing. I mean, I realize it's it's a challenge to get down through the layer, but come on. This is like, this is pathetic to be honest. Wow. Honestly, I feel incredibly let down and disappointed by this. This is so sad, it's not even funny. Hey, look at this. We're not even, like, getting challenged here. I mean, come on. Well, that's it. I'm sorry this was just, yeah, that was pathetic. Honest to God, that was so freaking pathetic. I can't even put that to words. Sorry, right, guys, I'm going to pause it, harvest up some, some metal. I'll be back to you guys in just a little bit. Actually, before I forget, uh, this is where the breaching sledge is better than the other one, than the other hammer, because you harvest more from nodes inside of here if you hit it. So as you can see, look at how much different that is. That's quite a bit more stuff. Now, obviously, you know, at not even quite 700, that's almost double what the other one produces. So that's a pretty decent jump. But I'm going to save, save up some of the sand. I'm going to go up top and just start transferring stuff down and drop off a whole bunch of shit in my, in my scout so I can do this more efficiently and then I'll be back to you guys probably when we get back to the shelter. Alright guys, so we made it back to shelter. Um, I got all our metal put away. So here's a look at what we have for resources right now. This we just harvested up in the previous episode. So quite a bit of aluminum. Gotta finish making up the resin and then this is our metal stash for now it's it's gonna go quick it it really is it's not gonna take long to burn through all of that so now this is recycled metal plastic and chemicals and as you can see we are sitting pretty good on them as well however again it will go quick and you know we will be using it so now here's a look at our pre at our at our made up stuff we have plenty of makeshift parts and mechanical parts got 221 PC ABS now but only 34 aluminum so I'll probably spend quite a bit of time making aluminum again try to get that all done off camera now plans for the next episode I'm thinking you know we're we're doing really good as far as clearing the map here out some more. Um, I'm thinking it may be time to take the junkyard. So that might be what's in store for us for the next episode. Either that, or we're gonna do like a like a prep episode for it. So. What that means is, you know, going to the junkyard, farming enforcers for ammo, you know, making sure we got plenty of uh, materials for repairs, making grenades, making sure we have the other ammo, shotgun, pistol, uh, arrows if we decide to use it, and maybe even leveling up the enforcer some more. So we might actually do a prep episode next just so we can get 
all that squared away and get ready to go. But, you know, as you can see, our Enforcer is doing really well. He's at level 23. He's got an 88% bonus now. So, probably a couple more overnighters of him killing, and he will be well past the 25 uh, level mark. So, I'm really happy with how with how he's doing. Uh, but, yeah. You know, our, our ammo situation, we are pretty much out of rifle ammo after we use what we got. So we're either going to be crafting some or we're, like I said, we'll probably go farm the enforcers, get that ammo, and then even craft some more. You know, make gunpowder so we can do grenades and rifle ammo. And there's a lot that goes into it. I'm... For the most part, I don't show any of it on camera. Um, all the grind for ammo and all the resources like that, I pretty much have been doing off camera, cause you know it's a little bit it's a little bit monotonous, and I'd assume for the most part, you know, it's safe to skip that that stuff. But now, as far as gunpowder goes, as you guys know. All these resources only generate one gunpowder. However, when you make ammo, you get five per. So, now grenades on the other hand, grenades on the other hand do not work that way. Let's head up to the weapons bench and I'll, sh and I'll show you. I've already showed this in past episodes, but uh, scroll on down here to the grenade, and it takes five gunpowder per per grenade so and you know we just unlocked the AK which obviously we don't need to make and we don't need to make that either but I really want level 39 and level 40 I really do because I want these two guns the pump shotgun especially for enforcers and the hunting rifle just to play with because it's a 200 damage freaking rifle it's that's gonna be insane but we're closing in on level 40, that's for sure. Now, we could try out the sticky bombs, but they really, they're not, you know, it's not that great, to be honest. Uh, I kind of skipped over it because, you know, I don't know, they do work well, but I don't know. And we could maybe even play around with the flare gun. I do have one. I actually looted one. I don't remember where I found it, but I did find one, so. And, you know, we do have all our extra armor and stuff in here. So, yeah. We've done really good so far, guys. I'm pretty pretty satisfied with how, how we've done. But lots more to come. Big things to come. Not just getting the Enforcer, but once we get the Enforcer, we can look at taking the biggest shelter in the game. And that is going to be one hell of a, hell of a fight. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, you guys are in for one serious treat. Uh, that's all I can say about that. You guys will have to wait and see that. So anyway, guys, we're going to end the episode here. Um... I don't know whether we're going to do the prep episode on camera or if I'm just going to do the prep off camera and we'll go right for taking the junkyard. So I haven't made up my mind on that yet. You guys will know when the next episode comes out for sure. But anyway, guys, if you're enjoying the content, remember, show the love. Smash that like button for me. Comment down below if you have a preference. You know, I might you guys do want to see a grind episode let me know in the comment section i can make that happen show you guys kind of what i go through with that but as always guys remember to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content and trigger those notification bells that way you guys know as soon as i post up my new videos so again thank you guys so much for being here and we will catch you guys in the next episode